This is a final letter to Afghan refugees being moved out of a bridging hotel in the north of England. A stark reminder, after a year of accommodating thousands of former interpreters and soldiers who worked with the British Armed Forces, the government wants them to find their own homes. But during a national housing crisis, this isn't easy. Former interpreter Shah Jahan arrived in the UK with his young family after spending almost a year in hiding from the Taliban. For the last few months, he's been house hunting. It's been like six months from now. Continuously for six months. And how's it been going? So difficult. We have been trying to find houses and we were going for viewing. But unfortunately, the main reason why we couldn't get any house yet is just because of the landlords. They are not accepting us and this, they are not interested to give us a property as a, for, as a rent. So roughly, how many landlords have you spoken to? Uh, well, yeah, I, I, I can, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure I can tell you that like in one month, I have been refused by 64 landlords. Bit here, mm -hmm. this one marble, and you can cook for yourself something. Yeah. Further south, former Afghan soldier Mina has managed to find a flat. My flat is uh, a studio flat. Uh, I have one uh, kitchen, one uh, room, and one bedroom. We've changed Mina's name and hidden her face because her military past could endanger her family in Afghanistan. But here in the UK, it's her forces connections which have helped her find a home. Yes, I have too much friends in the British Army. She and he helping me. Uh, she for me search a house. Uh, she get a house, uh, talk to landlord because she English. And that's helped you yeah. make this move. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much for she. <laughs> but when Mina began house hunting, she told us she also had problems. I'm so worried. Always I searching, searching house in Zoplo, in Google. I going the console. Please call the landlord. Landlord is reject. No, you have benefit. I don't like the benefit people. Uh, I'm so, so worried. There are Thanks nearly 50 so-called bridging hotels news, like the ones Mina and Shah Jahan have been staying in. Some have already closed, with two or three now expected to shut every few days this month. The Office of Veterans Affairs is providing additional funding to local authorities equivalent to over £7,000 per person. The money can be used flexibly for rent, deposits, furniture and other things. Okay. But many say hunting for a house against the clock in a crowded market is putting them under pressure. You cannot imagine how stress we have now. And we are like, we don't know where, where, the, where uh, the, we are going in the next coming 10 days. But I can tell you it's, 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 it's a, like nightmare for us. In the House of Commons, the Minister for Veterans Affairs was asked to confirm no Afghans to whom the country owed a debt of honour will be made homeless. There is no reason why any of these individuals should be homeless at the end of this process, given what is on offer. Clearly, we cannot march people into accommodation if they choose to present themselves at home, as homeless in, in an attempt to uh, secure themselves some sort of other accommodation. It's very difficult to affect that. There is no tangible reason why any Afghan family should present as, as homeless at the end of this process. <laughs> the Office of Veterans Affairs has confirmed there'll be a small number of Afghans given short-term accommodation beyond the date of their eviction notices in exceptional circumstances but they expect everyone else to move out of the hotels. Rosie Layden, Forces News. Thanks for watching. For more from Forces News, like and subscribe to our channel.